Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, today we're going to keep going on production. And I know I had mentioned this a few times as I'm going through this, but the production order that we've actually created, um, and so if I go into least uh, production orders, does not have any routing. So we have here ground coffee, uh, and you can actually run production without routing. Uh, so if, just to explain to you what that is, uh, we actually, if we have the output here, the finished good, uh, I have components, which means that there is material that is required. But uh, if I actually go into the routing, there is no routing. So, so basically we have what is required for the production order to make the production order, but we're not putting in what it needs to go through, like um, which work center, what task needs to be done, how long is that gonna take, uh, is there a cost to that or not, etc. <clears throat> so what I'm going to start doing in this video is actually uh, start setting up routing. And routing is, is a little more complicated in a sense than the ingredients. So if I go here, for example, and into something called the work center, um, and in my system, I don't have uh, a work center set up, so I need to set up a new one. I actually just created one here with, with nothing. Um, just get into that. So you need to have a work center in order to set up a routing. You either need to, you need to have a work center and possibly underneath that you'll have machine centers. So work center is like an area of the building where uh, things are getting done, like uh, in this case we're grinding uh, coffee. And machine centers could be each grinder, for example. So here's, we'll just call this uh, grinding coffee area. And you don't need machine centers. You can just go with a work center. Um, and we'll see that as we go through this. So here I can go ahead and give it a group code. I can say alternate, meaning that it's switching to something else. Uh, there's costing involved. And actually, <clears throat> I'm going to just skip that for now. Uh, I do need to give it a posting group. So I'm just going to call that uh, services. And one thing that's very important here, or the unit of measure, we're gonna do this in minutes. So it's counting the minutes. And uh, one thing that's really important is actually the shop calendar. So we need to know how many hours a day this work center is active. And it goes by the shop calendar. So if I go in here and create new, I create a shop calendar, and I'm just going to create a standard calendar. Uh, and then I can go into the working days. And in here, I can actually say that we start at 8 a.m. Uh, and finish at uh, 5, so 17 or 5 p.m., like that. Uh, that's Mondays. So I just. Make sure that this is standard work shift or eight, eight or just standard. So we need to actually create this. Um, so we have here Tuesday, which is going to be 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. That's also standard. And then we have uh, Wednesday. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, Thursday, 5 p.m. And finally, Friday. All right, so we created the, uh, the shop calendar. Uh, like that. So if I go out of here, uh, we could also put in holidays, uh, et cetera, so that it, it actually stops during those days. Uh, right now, I'm just going to say we don't have really holidays. <laughs> uh, 
and then I just set it up here. Um, and so now if I actually go into the calendar, um, and let me just go ahead and say show matrix here. Um, we have how much capacity the grinding coffee area has. Right now it has nothing. And I'm going to calculate it. So I'm going to do it for every single day here in 2018. Just hit OK. Um, actually, it needs a work center group code. We'll give it one. And I think I need to create another one there. So let's just say coffee grinders. CG for coffee grinders. Like so. And we go into the calendar again. Uh, show the matrix and calculate. So this all needs to get done before you can even start using routings, just by the way. Uh, hit OK. And now you see we have capacity. We have 540 minutes every single day that we can use. Uh, so this is, and we have no load as of now. So there's, there's no load. We have capacity 540, there's nothing allocated, and available is 540. So now you can see that, ooh, we have time. Time is now getting allocated to production orders. So next video, we're gonna go into how to actually allocate this work center to a production order so that it will take away time and we'll know how much we can do in a day. So thank you. Thumbs up if you actually got something out of this. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thank you.